Welcome back, everybody. Here we are. We're at uh, Talkie Beach. This is SIQS round number three at uh, Talkie Beach, as I already mentioned. Here we go. Just running along the line there. There's Nico here. There's uh, someone else. Who we got? Who we got, mate? I saw uh, Mark Bint floating through there's there. There's quite a few Victorian uh, athletes. Um, actually, there's Luke Cuff and Cam Gordon all the way from Queensland, uh, Northcliffe. We've got Josh Minogue in the field with Nick Anderson from Malula Bar. They've travelled... Um, Travelled a long way. Was We're that, off and racing. Was that Brett Tyak I saw him in? Brett Tyak, um, superstar of the um, of the past, uh, back to uh, shake up the young fellas. Actually, a past winner of this race, I believe. Yeah, about 24 years ago, mate. So he'll be fresh as a daisy. Hasn't done it for a while. Yeah, he was telling me he's been training pretty hard though. Uh, he, he actually went for a swim about six years ago. So. <laughs> Looks like Darcy Hanson has snuck out to the right there. Um, he? He's had a cracker. It looks like Cam Gordon um, also had a good start. That right hand side's um, really uh, the place to be at the moment, wasn't it? Definitely. Uh, anyone on the left clearly isn't going to go very well. Mark Bint at the back of that front pack there. You can tell his awkward ski paddling style. Ah, who's that young looking, looking young fella? Luke Calf. Lukey Cuff coming through there, one of the younger competitors from Queensland. There's a couple of Half Moon competitors, Half Moon Bay from uh, Victoria just down the road. Ah, uh, Brad Mitchell's right on the screen. B Red. Going well. Flying, obviously. I think he's flying, I think, uh, by his own accord. Josh Minogue and Nick Anderson, the Moolabar boys, have turned the can. Um, they're not taking any prisoners. They're heading straight to the beach and they're in front. Best place to be when you're trying to win a race, obviously. Looks like there's uh, a few little runners coming through there. That a few boys might pick up a few places there. Yeah, there's a few guys sitting back doing nothing, so they must be on a runner or they're um, running out of puff very early in the race. Might have been in the bar early. Really. <laughs> you never know, mate. Here we go. I Nick hope, Anderson. I hope no one slews on uh, any of these waves and uh, takes out the flag there. The ranger from down under is in second place. Nick O'Hare, what a legend. Um, whoops, whoops, and he's playing whoops, well early. Whoops, Has he got on? enough puff to make it through the way? Somebody's just trying to... Who's that? I think... Uh, uh, I Charlie. Right. Is that Charlie Charlie Stridwick there? Charlie Stridwick from, from New Auckland. Zealand. Um, he's had a shocker around the cans, and that's generally how we see most New Zealanders paddling. Valid, valid point. He's rubbish. What's he even doing in the race? Who's that? Good Nico, on you, Charlie. Nico here. Nico Nicking here. Out, okay. Brightening up our screen. Josh Minogue sitting in second place. So it's still the two Malula Bar boys. Um, Cammy really Gordon showing us the way. Another, another Queensland competitor. There's a... Uh... So it's Josh turning the can now. Nick's in front of him. Nico Hare is in third place. Podium position. Cammy uh, Gordon was sitting there in fourth. A few expert shots there from KG. Cammy uh, Gordon and uh, Charlie Stredwick. Charlie, Charlie Stredwick's just coming through there. He's uh, and, right uh, up in the field. Looks like he's uh, Luke Cuff, a Luke Cuff, actually a young, young uh, Australian board champion as well. Actually, a few through. waves picking up through the back. Um, Cam's got a good one. If he can hold that, he'll um, almost catch the leaders. Or not, looks like they're all on a wave too. Great commentary. Nick Anderson in front. Oh, hang on, did you see that, mate? There's a ski in the way. What was that? What it looks like Lukey Carp has ditched his ski. He's swimming in the beach. I'm not sure how that's going to pay off for him, Trino. So you know what I think it is? He's not a bad swimmer. What, what is it, mate? I think he's come all the way from Queensland, decided he wants to make the race as long as possible. Let's just do an extra swim leg. What an idiot. I think you're an idiot. He's just <laughs> fallen off his bloody ski, mate. That's yeah, true. So Nick Anderson uh, has got a little lead on Josh Minogue and Nick O'Hare. But they're hurtling down the beach, aren't they? That's them coming back now. Charlie Stradwick in fifth. And it looks like Cam Gordon and Nick O'Hare. Nick O'Hare has been passed. Um, well, Cammy Gordon. It's quite early in the race to be passed. But at least he's still up there in fourth. That's good effort. Yeah, he is good. So we're going into uh, a swim leg. A silly idea, really, in uh, surf life saving circles. But uh, swim legs they are. It's a popular opinion of many to uh, get rid of this swim leg. It's uh, hard work. And it's a lot of early mornings to uh, become a solid swimmer. So Josh um, is a good swimmer, though. And I wouldn't be surprised if he really puts the hammer down in this leg. 
yeah, he's actually. Uh, I remember seeing up the up uh, very high placing at the Australian titles in the surf race, the last Australian title. So I wouldn't be surprised if he makes a big move here. Do you think uh, Nick Ans Anderson's thinking of this song? Um, he's right on uh, Josh Minogue's uh, feet. Hang on a sec. He's got a wave. He's gone straight past him. Looks like Nick Anderson, number one, back in charge. Well, there you go. Uh, you sure? Oh, no, you are sure. Well done. I'm just really interested to know where you were going with that last comment. Oh, I just thought they were swimming so close together that I'd be thinking of this song. I feel so close to you right now. Yeah, that's interesting. Like a force field. Um, I saw Brian Lim, the Malaysian champion, uh, heading out to sea. He's got a bit of work to do, um, but as a solid swimmer and a r ridiculously average ski paddler, that's about where I thought he'd be. It's a very international flavour here at Torquay this afternoon, and it is late afternoon. I will mention that this race kicked off just on 7 PM. So all these Queenslanders looking at the bright daylight will be uh, wondering what's going on. But this is uh, this is what it's like a bit further south with a bit of daylight saving. Josh, Josh has just almost snuck down that. He's he's pulled back up. He he got caught on a wave and now he's back in front. He's put swimming the house down. It looks like. Yeah, I think um, he's had enough of this rubbish. He just wants to get out in front and win this race. And there it is. That'll open it up. It certainly will. <laughs> Good man. So I saw Mark Bint having a good crack through the field. I think he's in about third or fourth with uh, Cameron Gordon. Um, it's the first time we've seen him feature. Yeah, well, he's not a, a, especially known as a swimmer, Mark Bint. A very, very talented board paddler, but um, has been working on it. So it's interesting to see him come through that well in the swim league. You reckon Harriet's been cracking the whip? I think he, she might have. I wouldn't be surprised if what? she... Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if she, uh, if he tries to beat her at the Peter Pub Swimming Lawn tomorrow. Oh, well, I hope so. Good for the fella's confidence. But um, Josh Minogue uh, is showing us how it's done. He's had a good run leg and he's straight on the board and uh, he's not messing about. Maybe Mark just stopped to greet his girlfriend on the uh, banner on the way around in the middle there. He'd say good day, wouldn't you? <laughs> of course he would. He's a GC, of course he would. So Josh, bouncing through the waves um, and not making a big deal about it. He's just straight out and into it. He yeah, doesn't look like he's uh, that tired, does he, Trent? He's just popping through a few waves, putting in some decent deep strokes. He's fresh. Fresh. Fresh right. he is. I think his twin brother is just tagged in. Possibly. Possibly. Can we actually check that? Can we go through the tapes and make sure there's no cheating? Oh, he's, looks like he's been going to the wrong can there. Yeah? And uh, possibly KG, our cameraman on the ski beside him, has led him in the wrong direction. KG obviously That's doubling rookie, as, uh, his one half of Tenacious D, the international rock band. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I wouldn't be surprised if Kilo's led him astray. Um, but he's found the right way now, and it's given the boys a bit of a sniff um, to get back in the hunt. But it looks like he's turned the can now, and he's still got a bit of a show. Yeah, he's got a decent lead there, eh? especially with a few, uh, few runners coming home. He'll, uh, he'll be straight across the line, giving it the cheer, bro, uh, you can to see, all the boys. Yeah, you can see Cammy Gordon. Um, he's actually rocking the, uh, the our new equipment, the Stud Dud uh, Aquadivas range. They're helping us out with um, the series bathers. <laughs> Some talks for the guys, you're saying? Yeah, the Stud Duds, and they're looking good. Certainly do. I'd uh, like some. We'll see about that, mate. Uh, Josh. What do we think about him? Mate, he's actually making it look easy, isn't he? He's a, uh, a very talented competitor, top bloke, and uh, essentially should probably be looking at getting into the professional series shortly. Well, he had a crack in the professional series last year, and maybe even the year before, if I remember correctly. So he's had a, um, uh, an average trials, and now he's doing the hard work to show that he's a serious athlete, and, and it's, you know... Well, looking good. good. It's, easy, it's easy to get your head down when things like that happen, but he's got a big season in front of him, and he's coming out here to support the SIQS series and hopefully earn himself a little bit of money and uh, get himself ready for next year and, of course, the Aussie titles this year. Which are only about 10 weeks away, so to uh, show your fitness here, um, when you're still a couple of months to go to fine-tune it, is, um, it's going to be pretty handy. There he is, Lukey Cuff. Also, we're in the uh, Aquadiva bathers there, the... Uh, 
Stud Dud. Stud Dud Bathers there. He um he he's the one that fell off the ski. So for him to come back, I think he's sitting about sixth or seventh at the moment. It's not a bad effort. He must be a pretty good swimmer. Looks like Kyle's going like stick to catch uh, Josh. Look at KG go. Look at that. The hands are a little bit low. But jeez, I like, I like the uh, I like the stroke rate. Jeez, he's clearly got a moustache. Can you see the wind wind sort of funneling around his face there? Oh, I don't know, mate. <laughs> Get him a scotch. Oh, here we go. Oh. That's uh, that's Brett Tyke. That's Brett Tyke, Charlie Stredwick, and um, Darcy Hansen coming through there, um, tightly bunched with one leg of them to go. Um, could be a little bun fight on there. Any idea what sort of placings they are? Maybe maybe seventh through ninth. I think so. Nail on the head, mate. There we go. So we've got Josh Minogue in front. Uh, Nick Anderson currently in second, but Mark Bint right on his tail um, from where we're standing. It looks like Cam Gordon's in fourth. It's a bit uh, of a wave standing up behind uh, Joshy here. He's Josh is pulling down that. We've got uh, Nick O'Hare and Luke Cuff um, battling it out for fifth and sixth place. Has Binty just taken second place there? Binty's got it. He's got it, mate. So he needs to get a wave in front, make sure it's not a uh, not a sprint finish. So that's three, two, three, and four coming through there. Um, there's a bit of prize money on second, so um, it's going to be hard to catch Josh from there. Yeah, it will be hard. They might, though. <laughs> they could. <laughs> you idiot. Uh, second, third, and fourth, though. There's a big difference, and they'll be trying to get that second spot. Yeah, my, my money's on uh, on Charlie Stridwick. He's probably going to come through and on mate, a way he's past. not even in that top three. Yeah, I know, but he's going to get away from way past now. <laughs> uh, yeah, righto. No, then it's not. He's rubbish. Uh, Mark Bint's probably the best board paddler out a lot, and he will uh, look to hit the beach first. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he's on a wave uh, about now. Josh Minogue, look at him strutting his stuff. What a champion. Number one, look two times that, in a row. Look at that stock. He's just got the shoulders back and down. He's got the calf muscles pumping. I'm a got a little bit of a man crash happening for, for, for Kevin. Uh, well done, Josh. Josh will take first back. place in the round three, the gym wall. Mitsubishi Electric. Surf Man Qualifying Series. Well done, Chief. Well done, Josh Minogue. That's fantastic. Here, but here's Cammy Gordon. What's he up to? I think I just saw Mark Bin on the screen. I think he's got the second place. Uh, we'll watch him come through now. That's, yep, Mark Bin. And then who was that Nick running? Anderson. Nick Anderson running Nick Anderson. Two and three. So Mark uh, Bin must have got on that first wave, as we uh, suspected, being the faster board battler. Nick Anderson's got down one in front of Cammy Gordon, who will have to settle for fourth today. But a bright blue pair of bathers looking the goods. Here's Lukey Cuff coming around. Luke Cuff will take fifth. He's a young fella. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, this is what we were talking about earlier. Look. Looks like Brett Tyak is on the wave behind, but Charlie Stredwick, the man, and Darcy Hansen. Oh, oh, that's going to oh, come down to a sprint finish. And Charlie's battling. Yeah, no, nah, he's rubbish. He won't get him at all. Here's a Kiwi. He's no chance. No look at, look they at, are giving it. <laughs> look at that, they're giving it. Here's some. Ah. I got my money on the young fella in front. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charles. Here we go. This Brett Tyak. Brett Tyak coming, coming through. Oh, who's oh. that? Yeah, oh, there we go. It's just oh. got him at the end. Charles will finish in seventh. Darcy Hansen eighth. Brett Tyak, the legend, in ninth. And that looked like Scott Prosser. What about them? Huh?